for more on this story, let's go now to our Saudi writer and commentator, Salman Al-Ansari in Riyadh. Salman, thank you for joining us. Uh, it, it might be a stretch to say that Iran is now an ally of the United States, but the relationship does seem to be stronger than, uh, than ever before, really. So what impact does this have, if any, on the Saudi-US relations? And also, what's been the reaction to this nuclear deal where you are? Great. Hi, Natasha, and hi to all the viewers around the globe. Um, it's very important to mention the fact that Saudi Arabia and the GCC countries are all at any global efforts on eliminating the nuclear um, uh, weapons um, uh, potential of, uh, of um, uh, Iran, which is a great step. But at the same time, which, what has been um, a worrying factor or what was um, a, a big of a concern for us as Saudis is the fact that um, the, the global powers, specifically the United States, is not taking crucial actions regarding um, uh, the support of the militias. Uh, Iran has been fueling sectarianism in the region and supporting militias like Hezbollah and the IRGC, which is a part of their political fabric and send them uh, to Syria and different places and how they have been doing um, a lot of um, uh, disturbing kind of uh, momentum in Yemen, in Syria, in Iraq, in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. So we are speaking of a country that is defined by the United States itself as a global terrorism sponsor. So what we are asking the United States and the world's power to act upon the definition that they have put, which is Iran is the global terrorism sponsor. But uh, let me tell you something. I believe personally that there are two good sides of this uh, deal. Um, the first um, uh, uh, thing is the fact that the conservative party within Iran will be somehow marginalized. They are still having most of the power in Iran, but somehow will be marginalized by such deal. And the second good or positive outcome out of this um, uh, uh, Iran deal is the fact that um, 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 it will be somehow uh, trying to moderate uh, the political fabric within Iran, which is a good step. And I think Obama is very optimistic about this. We are not very, very optimistic about it, but we think it can be um, um, a good step in the right direction. But the two negative sides of such deal is the fact that it has never mentioned anything of the support of terrorism, of how Iran has been uh, fueling uh, uh, the region with sectarianism. And we are worried and concerned of the frozen uh, 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 money, the frozen assets of the Iranian regime. We are wondering where will it be melted? Will it be melted upon uh, the people of Iran or will it be melted upon uh, the militias like Hezbollah and uh, the other uh, um, uh, terrorist groups. And we are pretty sure that they will somehow take a huge portion of the frozen assets to, uh, and, and have it melted upon their militias. That's an issue. So we need some red lines from the world's powers regarding this, but real red lines real red lines, not like the one that has but been put you, you in, would have to, uh, with the chemical uh, weapons. Salman, you, you would have yes. to agree that Iran has complied with every rule that's been put in front of them to the letter. Uh, they've decreased their nuclear capacity by 98%. Uh, wouldn't you have to commend them on this? Um, it's actually a great step. I'm not denying that. I'm saying that it's a great step that the Iranian regime is uh, eliminating their um, uh, poten uh, potential um, 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 uh, nuclear weapon plans, etc. But what concerns us is not only the nuclear weapon. The nuclear weapon is one issue, but the other issue, which is as terrible and as equivalent to the nuclear weapon, which is the support of terrorism in the region. We cannot tolerate with yes. um, um, uh, a country that, that spread 
um, I its think, militias I, yeah, in I, the region. So I, that's why. I, I, yeah. I, uh, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off there, Simon. I, I, I understand your point there, uh, sure. w which you have made on the frozen assets and the potential f for terrorism there. If we can look, uh, how concerned is, is Saudi Arabia um, about this from an economic point of view? Because in some ways, uh, I mean, we've seen the price of oil plummet over recent weeks, and now you have Iran um, having the capacity to export more oil. Uh, so uh, Saudi Arabia would have to be taking a further hit than it already has. Uh, let me tell you something. I think there is a, a huge exaggeration on this specific theme uh, in the media. Uh, let me tell you why and how. But um, a write down Saudi of Arabia 98 to be a, a write down of 98 billion dollars to your GDP isn't an exaggeration though. That's a fact. No, let me tell you, yeah, I will mention to you numbers. Saudi Arabia is the second biggest producer of oil in the world. The first is the United States with 14 million barrel per day in 2014. And Saudi is second with 11.6 million uh, barrel per day. And what we are, and if we speak about the Iranian uh, government, they will be producing, um, like the estimate is 500,000 uh, uh, barrels per day. So. There's a huge differentiation. And the other factor is the fact that um, uh, the cost of the oil uh, production is very high. It's almost like triple, if not more, um, uh, than the cost that we have in Saudi. So in Saudi Arabia, we are not very worried about the idea of Iran becoming like a competitor in the oil market because the oil market has already been uh, struggling um, uh, a lot with Iran or without it. But um, um, maybe, maybe you can tell, and, and I can agree with you in the fact that it can with this deal, maybe the, the prices of oil will go down, etc., a little bit and have some kind of pressure on it. Mm. But it's not going to be a major kind of challenge for us because we are basically the second biggest producer of oil in the whole world. And I'm pretty sure that yeah. the Iranian regime will need um, not only a decade or maybe three decades to, to improve their refineries and become um, um, an economic power in the future. But okay. at the Some moment, will, I don't think uh, Some I, I do apologize for interrupting you again. We will have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Thank sure. you so much, Salman Al-Ansari, for joining us Thank from you. Riyadh.